This is the 2015 level 3 waves exam and I'm going to be working on question 2. Question 2. So this is interference question. Um, I'll just quickly read through it. Rianne uses a pair of novelty glasses to produce a laser show. When she shines the laser through the glasses, uh, center of the eyepiece, the laser splits up into a number of beams. That is interference. She suspects the novelty glasses contain a, a diffraction grating. Grating, nice deduction, Rianne. Um, she measures, measures the angle between the bright central beam of light and the first order maximum. So this angle here to be 26 uh, degrees. And the laser has a wavelength of 532 times 10 to the 9th. So that's 532 nan nanometers. I can tell you now, it's probably a green laser. Question A, calculate the slit spacing of the novelty glasses. Right, so because it's a diffraction grating, we need to use d sine theta equals n lambda. Our wavelength lambda equals 5, 3, 2 times 10 to the 9, uh, minus 9. And it's asking, oh, we've got the angle to the first order maximum. So n equals 1. Here we go. So we need to work out. D. D is our slit spacing. So we have, we just do some simple rearrangement. D is equal to n lambda over sine theta is equal to 1 times 5, 3, 2 times 10 to the minus 9 um, divided by sine. 26 degrees, making sure our calculator is in degrees if we're doing this on a calculator, not on a computer. 1.21 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. Noticing our answer needs to be in three centimeter figures because everything that they've given us so far, three, three, oh, they're giving us two. Three centimeter figures. Everything is going to be in three centimeter figures. Right. Rian experiment, experiments by showing the laser light through different parts of glass and different parts of the glasses. There are more lines. Um, parameter in the middle of the eyepiece, smaller slit spacing than uh, the edges. Describe the differences in patterns Rianne would see when she shines the laser light through the two different sections of the glasses. So, in the middle, where the slit spacing is smaller, they're going to be further apart. But you need to describe, so it's asking you to describe, it's not asking you to explain why, just describe. Um, so, say in the middle. Rianne, if that's how you pronounce her name, will see the right fringes further apart. apart. So I'm just describing what I see. She'll see it further apart. Um, in the edges, she will. Um, so in the inner edges, you'll see them closer together. Um, I put a reasoning, but I don't have to because it's not asking for it. D sine theta equals n lambda. Um, n and lambda, proportional constants. They're just constant numbers. They don't change. So if let me do it right in front of that slit slate. So you need to write what slit spacing is. You can't just write D because it's just a letter representing something. Spacing bracket D increases um, fringe spacing fringe spacing and decreases as the theta or angle angle theta decreases and vice versa okay question three Rian visits a physics laboratory 
where she places the glasses, uh, she replaces knobbed glasses with 600,000 lines per meter diffraction gradient, calculate the spacing degrees between the central maximum and the second order maximum for her laser light when it passes through the diffraction gradient. Right, so we got 600,000. Um, and I, I do this sort of a strange way. I sort of just know in my head what it should be, but that's equal to per meter, per meter. And this is how you sort of derive um, what it should be, how many, how long it is, like in meters. Uh, that's per meter. In order to get you know, it in meters, um, you need to go just move move the end to that side and move the 600 to that side. So we get um, d, which is which is just the diff, you know the, the slit spacing in meters. D um, in meters is equal to keep the per there just so you understand what I'm doing. Per 600,000. Um, and per just means 1 over, so this is sort of the same as uh, the frequency formula, or period, linking frequency and period together, frequency is just 1 over, it's cycles per second, so this is per 600,000, so let's just cross that out, 1 over that, uh, and we get that's equal to 1.67 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. Yep, now, seems reasonable, that's pretty small. N lambda equals D sine theta. Theta is equal to sine inverse n lambda over the slit spacing, which is equal to sine of inverse second order, because it's asking for the second order from the central as well, otherwise you have to minus the first angle um, if you're doing it from the first times 5, 3, 2, because it hasn't changed times 10 to the nine, minus 9 over the slit spacing which we calculated above 1.67.67 times 10 to the minus 6 meters bracket chuck that in brackets put it through your calculator and it'll give you 39.6 degrees keeping it 3SF and that is indeed the answer right last question Rand wonders whether it would be possible to use diffraction gradient to create a laser light show or a blue laser light with a wavelength of 460 times 10 to the negative 9 it creates a pattern that overlaps with the pattern Four sixes. So we got what's that? That's a bit above blue, um, and this is just a bit above red. Normal blue is about 400, 410. Red's about 632. Right. And your so let's just just do the bullet points first. Calculate the number of maxima for the blue laser light. Well, that's not too hard. Um, so we're going to be using d sine. Oh, have I written that right? D sine theta. Can we go up a little bit? Actually, I, think I need to move this up. You see that? Yep, d sine theta equals n lambda. Um, when theta equals 90 degrees, so once we get past 90 degrees, you can't really see it because you can't project onto the screen. n equals max. So we just chuck 90 degrees in. So we've got blue, um, d sine 90 over lambda um, equals 1.67 times. 10 to negative 6. If you didn't get the question C, you wouldn't get this one here. Uh, meters, sine, which sucks about NCA. 90 over 460, because that's blue, times 10 to the negative 9. That's 460 nanometers. Just double checking that. Yes. Meters equals 3.63. Um, in other words, the max um, in blue. Uh, or yeah, max is equal to three because can't, you can't get three point six of a, of a laser light. It's got to be the, you just go to the next one now. It's got to be three. N max is three. Uh, let's just do the same for red. A bit tedious, but it's all right. D sine ninety degrees over lambda one point six. That's our slit separation. Yep, ten to minus six sine. 90 degrees over now it's 690 minus 10 to the minus 9 meters equals 2.42 same as above uh, in red max has got to be 2 is equal to 2 um, you can't you can't have 2.42 of a, of a maxima um, you just go you know if we have a central dot here a dot here a dot here and then no dot here 
dot here, dot here. So this is our central n equals zero. Um, you get one, you can get two. Yeah, but you can't get you can't get two point six two of a dot of of a bright spot. So this is the maximum it's got to be. Right. So that is tick tick answer them. Explain why there'd be a limit to the number of maximum for the blue light. Um, there is a limit because max value of sine theta equals one and that's when sine theta is yeah well it's when when theta is equal to ninety degrees. So you can't you can't get bigger than sine theta equals one. Um that that answers that question. Right. Show that one of the red maxima is the same angle as the blue maxima. Um well, this is a cheek. This is a trick question. Well, it's not a trick question, but at n equals zero, both. Um, I don't think you get points for this, but this is just so you know. Actually, um, both that would be the angle of blue and the angle of red equals zero. So that's, that's red and and blue have maximum in the centre. Um, or so that, that's the first one, but the, really the answer is, or let's just do some quick algebra. Um, it's asking whether the angles are the same. So and our slit separation is still the same. So we get in blue lambda blue equals d sine oh, sine theta blue um, and in red lambda red equals d sine theta red but I want to have these angles the same if these angles are the same this slit spacing is still the same so I can really make this um, you know, when red is equal to blue should have to, I should have no room in blue um, lambda blue equals in red lambda red which if I do some quick rearranging in blue over in red equals lambda red over lambda blue which equals 690 times can we see that? yeah we can 10 to the minus 9 um, over 460 10 to the minus 9 if you chuck that into your fraction and you calculate it it's 3 over 2 but I can see that's 3 over 2 um, thus uh, in red equals 2 um, and in blue equals 3 both have a maxima overlapping right can we see that? right so let's just double check answer the first one tick Second one, tick. Explain where's the limit to the maximum. Yeah, we said sine theta is the maximum. Sine theta can be as ninety or as one at ninety degrees, and show that there's a, a red maximum at the same angle as the blue maxima. Um, you could say that at, at the uh, central maxima, there right, with, with the angle is zero, which is still a number, um, but you probably won't get marks for that. So you work out the uh, the following ones, two and three, and it's probably going to turn out that way. Right, sorted.